Oh, I can only see Gloria. Oh, there's yeah. Gloria. Oh, we're live. Um, Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to whatever this is on a Sunday. Um, good morning, Lex. Hello. Yeah, this still isn't an, an it's, it, it should just be whatever this is on a Sunday. So whatever this is on a Sunday, because the, the title changes every week as well. Every yeah. week I'm like, I don't know what to call this. So <laughs> whatever this is on a Sunday. I can see in the chat Gloria and Margaret, and apparently Lex says there's more people watching, but they're not zipping up yet. So I mean, any minute now it'll go boof and people go hello or they, or, or not as the case may be well they'll they'll just sit there in a no, stony silence notifications only just gone out i've just got it so i should imagine that you know we just people, wait here they are they're, they're, oh, they're, yourself gloria and margaret <laughs> they're, they're about they're about to pop up on your screen any second any second do, 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 do. oh there's everybody good morning Kay and scooby shaggy and deb hughes and kimberly Byrne and carol and laurel good morning to you all um it was a bit of kind of a late scheduling earlier than we have been for the last few weeks let's see if we can catch people unawares kind of thing going on uh good morning crispy crispy's at butlins which one are you at crispy uh chris tyler's there as well sarah price and kelly says morning wasn't expecting this early I woke up at something past o'clock, like something past five. Mm. And I said to myself, go back to my sleep. And my, go back, go back, back to my sleep. Go back to sleep. And myself went, nah. And I was like, but please, please go back to sleep for like a couple of hours. And I was like, nah. So I led there cursing for a while. And then I was like, right, I'll just go early then. So I've been, I've come back, I've had a shower, which is why I look a bit peculiar. This parting looks central in my mirror and very not central on the screen. It looks okay to me. It's very white as well, isn't it? It looks like I've had my head slashed open. Should have dyed my hair. Axe wound. Axe wound. My always in my head. We could have popped down and bugged you, Crispy. Uh, who oh, else? I've been to Butlin's Mine Head. Everybody's yeah. been to Butlin's Mine Head. I went there on an 80s weekend. It was disgusting. <laughs> disgusting. I went there when I was like nine. So. <laughs> I went there as a kid as well. Good yeah. morning. Um, oh, Jane Freel. Chris Tyler says, you called me ladies. I don't think I meant you, Chris. I think I was talking to Gloria and Margaret at the time. Uh, good morning, uh, Fandria and Joanne and Jewelry Sales and Ashley Carruthers. I haven't seen you for a while. Where have you been hiding? And Lainey and Tina Line and Josh, who's managed to get out and get back in again from his house this morning. He's been, been trapped and managed to escape. Oi, 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 Ozzy, Ozzy, oi. It's Oggy. It's Oggy. Oggy, oggy, oggy. No, we don't do that. It's oggy, oggy, oggy. Oi, oi, oi. Yes, oh, it's oggy, yes. oi, oggy, oi, oggy, yeah, oggy. Aussie. Where's he got Aussie from? It, 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 maybe, it, maybe posh people say it's Aussie. It's Aussie. We don't say oggy. Do you know an oggy is a pasty in Cornwall? We've gone off already on a, on a bit of a tangent. Um, Patricia said, uh, yeah, um, Kelly says I've got a bum crack head. Thanks, Kelly. That's, that's just this area. That's not even the part in um mama yvonne says good morning good morning mama yvonne and steve's in and chris says was that the woman in the bush incident it was indeed chris i must have told that story before troll troll troll, troll, troll in the dungeon <laughs> morning bad wolf um so yeah i've been to the car boot lex hasn't because nobody's actually decided where hers is yet still well well the the, the problem is that they do have a Facebook site for it but they're not very communicative on it. So people are going like, so where is it? And what time is it? And then someone else will just reply, oh, it's it's, uh, it's further up or it's on another comment. And it's like, well, don't say it's on another comment because then that person still has to go and find that other yeah. comment. Just say Sunday, this place, seven o'clock. Just, just say it. And so nobody really knows where it is or what time it's on. And apparently there's no parking there either which is ridiculous for a car boot sale. That's and a bit odd, isn't it? It's, yeah, because it, apparently it's in the residential area. There's like a field, or not even a field, like there's a car park for a cash and carry kind of place and they put up a marquee or something and it's there, but you can't park in the car park there. You have to park in the residential area, which obviously, well, you can't, can you? So, yeah. Really. But there we are. Well, you can't. I can't. So yeah. I'd have to take a taxi there. And you it's... can't park at all. No. Well, I can actually. I was pretty good at. I can't do three point turns very well, 
but um, I can reverse park and I can reverse around a corner. Can you drive forwards in a straight line? No, I no. can. <laughs> Can. I tend to do it at speed though, which was I feel like you and Josh should drive between you because Josh is not a happy parker. No, um, not, not since he got his new car, which is understandable. When you get a new car, you're like it's completely different size and shape to my old car, and it feels all different. And so at the moment, he's not a happy parker. So I feel no. like you and he should drive, you should be a driver between you. He could do the driving forwards in a straight line at a normal speed, and then oh. when it comes to parking, you could be that one. I don't like driving at a normal speed though. That's why I you're only in parking. Yeah. I used to be in, in the car with my driving instructor and he'd be like, so what's the uh, what's the speed limit in this place? And I'd be like, 30. And he's like, so why are you going at 65? Like, oh, shit. Way! It's fun! Woo! And that's why there are no driving instructors left in Bridge End. Yeah, it's true. In, in fact, that driving, that driving instructor has since died of a heart attack, apparently. So you probably weakened his heart. He probably had a perfectly strong heart until he taught you to drive, and then you weakened it, and then something else just took him over the edge, poor man. To be fair, most of our driving lessons were spent finding places to stop and have a cigarette. <laughs> uh, good morning, too. Um, oh, Steve said he had a middle-aged woman flash me and her mates at Butler's Mine. At good times. Good morning. Sorry, I've got hiccupy burps. Good morning, Kath Palmer, who says, how nice to be woken up to you, ladies. Antoinette Daly, Emma's in. Hi, Em. Uh, Laura Eccleston Siebel, Antoinette Daly again. I've said her twice. Never mind. So good. I'm so good. I named her twice. Diane Cross, uh, Jackie Funstuff, and Chris Tyler says he's an ex instructor. Well, maybe he was one of yours. Are you a nervous wreck, Chris? Good morning, Claire Vickers. And Donna Sampson. And hello and to her. Donna Sampson. I wonder if it's the same Donna Sampson I used to know. Are you the Donna Sampson I used to know? Are you just somebody that I used to know? Somebody. And Buccaneer Beth. So, yeah, I went to the car boot sale. Lex didn't. That's what we've established. Good morning, Gimble. Gimble is Gary, isn't he? Yeah. Good morning, Hello. Gary. Hello, Gary. So I bought, I went to the, it's starting to sound like one of those games. I went to the shops and I bought. Cutlery. What was the office cutlery? Cutlery. Ooh. This is that funky, iridescent kind of oil slick cutlery. They sell it in George. This is probably just the Georgia Asda stuff. It's probably not anything exciting. And it's not quite a full set. I've got three forks, four knives. I mean, it's new and not been used. Three forks, four knives, four spoons, and three teaspoons. So not quite, oh, yeah, three not quite a full set, which is why I paid two. So someone somewhere out there has got a fork and a teaspoon and is going, <laughs> going for a steak. <laughs> Yeah, so um, so yeah, not quite a full set, but I have eyed this up in Asda before, and there has absolutely been no reason for me to buy myself new cutlery. We have sufficiency of cutlery in this house, so I've gone, that's really pretty, but I don't need it. That's really pretty, but I don't need it. It's really pretty, but I don't need it. So when it when I could get it for two quid, I was like, it's really pretty, and I'm having it. Yeah, why yeah. not? Yeah, so that's for us. So next time you come here, you can have an iridescent spoon for your steak. <gasps> Amazing. <laughs> I'll be there all night. Oh, and Mr. Claire. Yeah, sorry, Claire count one. Thank you, Ashley. Ashley's on the Claire count. Well, it's a good job someone's on form today, isn't it? Yeah, because I'm not on it at all. I'm better now than I was first thing. I was very wobbly around the car boot, so very kind of like, you know, every time you bend down and then you stand up and you have to sort of recalibrate before you can. You know, it's, just like, it's, it's, it's the floating <laughs> brain thing. It's got to like reposition. Yeah. Settle down, like if yeah. You my brain's on like a like a banana hammock in there. Whoa. Troll, yeah. troll wolf, troll wolf says aurora borealis cutlery. Mm. Look at oh, it, yeah. Look at her knowing stuffs. Yeah. Mike Dando says I'm early. He's just had a breakfast roll and he's just having a breakfast roll and coffee in town. Where are you off to, Mike? Are you are you shopping or or just out for a trek about or what? So that's a breakfast roll, not a breakfast cob or a breakfast balm no, cake. Because they're called rolls. Nobody in the world has a breakfast balm cake or a breakfast cob. Just a breakfast roll. Yeah. Ashley says they're having an Italian brekkie. Is that like pizza and wine? Ooh, that sounds all right. <laughs> <laughs> Kat says they are a magpie really oh shiny i love them you can get you can, they, they do glassware in the same thing and and stuff like that and i love all of it i think it's really pretty i'm like oh, all the colors all the pretty I've colors got, i've got cocktail glasses like that actually yeah 
if I, if if I was pissing you off, you could sit me in the corner with something like this, and I would just sit and look at all the pretty colours quietly and behave myself. See, sort of similar, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, you can see the iridescence. Iridescence. Is that what I want? Yeah, in there. Yeah. They're from Tesco. Uh, Gary says he was also an ex-car instructor. He's still got dual controls in his car and he directed it in eight years ago. I would be a nightmare passenger in a car with dual controls. I'm a bad passenger at the best of times. If I had dual controls, I'd be braking. <laughs> I'd be like, we're stopping now. The driver would be like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Josh says, I've got such a lovely tray, but we've seen a picture of the lovely tray and that's a lie. It's a horrible, horrible tray. I'll probably make money on it, but it's not nice. Yes, it's it's nice, Josh. Like when, yeah, like I, I know what you mean. I pick things up and I'll go like, oh, this is nice. And Carl will go, really? And I'm like, yeah, but it's not nice. As in, I don't like it. Like, it's not for me, but I, it's nice. Mm. Yeah. Jewel yeah. says breakfast bap. Now, breakfast bap, I will allow. Hmm. We'll allow breakfast bap because it's alliterative, isn't it? Breakfast bap, breakfast bap. I'll, yeah, so I can, I can live with that one. But anyone saying breakfast cob, no, no, Steve, no. <laughs> Good morning, Lisa Louise, Lisa Count One. And Diane Cross is in Skelmersdale and says they have brecky barms. Again, with the alliteration, I can see where you're going, but still, no, it's still a roll. Yeah, but the whole balm cake thing, balm cake, balm cake. Apparently, Italian breakfast, not quite as exciting as we thought. Oh, that's what I have every day. Am I <laughs> Italian then? <laughs> I like my idea better. That is literally my breakfast every day. I mean, and also some drugs as well. And some drugs. And some drugs. Mm. I bought 22 of these. What? 22. Oh. I had to stagger back to the car with them. They hadn't put all the lids on properly. And on the way back to the car, one of the lids fell and smashed. So now I've got 21 and one lidless number. He was selling them at 50 pence each or four for a pound. Um, off she goes again. Um, so I get, he gave, gave me all 22 for a fiver, which I was fine with. They sell at four for a tenner. Oh, okay. So they pay four for a pound. They sell it four for a tenner. They're not. They're not going to set the world on fire, but they sell I it thought, four for a tenner. I thought you were going to do something like crafty with them then, because you no, got no, because you got those foil things, haven't you? Mm. And you could do yeah, like. Yeah, no, I'm just going to sell them. Just going to sell them as they are. They sell it four for a tenner. Fair enough. It'll be a quick flip anyway, won't it? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So if I paid five pound and I'm going to get fifty pound. That's all right, isn't it? That's that's bearable. Oh, I sold the speed stacks. Do you remember last week I bought speed stacks and I said and I said they are my my uh, reseller bolo because I know the market's gone on them, blah blah blah. Anyway, I sold them for 18 quid, so it's not gone that far. No, yes, shut up. I was quite happy with that. Yeah. But some plastic cups. Yeah. And, and it's not just the cups, you get a kind of a a special mat that you do it on and a kind of a special countdown timer thing. So it's not yeah. just cups, but but it is really. But it is just cups, yeah. Um, Steve says, I got noticed at the car boot this morning. Three cars. Next week, I'm doing an autograph car boot stand. Hashtag big deal. I'm kind of a big deal, you know. <laughs> hey, so did we last week, didn't we? Yes, yeah, we did. Yeah, we, we met Anna, lovely Anna. She was not, she was great. She was so enthusiastic, despite the fact that it was 185 degrees and we were all like wilting. You know, uh -huh. she was life. And I was there um, at one store looking at the jewellery and I had my cat mask on. And then this woman like turned to me and she was like, do I know you? Um, and I was like, um, I don't think so. Um, and then I kind of, you know, go, well, I am terribly famous, you know, as a joke. <laughs> and then she laughed. And then I was afterwards, I was like, well, like, does she now realize who I am? Or does she have no idea? And I've just been very presumptuous. Or does she have no idea and think that I'm now a twat? So <laughs> there was a there was a oh steady on bud bud is having a smashing time there was a chap as well at marks but i think he was called andy but if he wasn't called andy i'm sure he'll forgive me because uh, as you know my main my memory is absolutely shocking i think he was called andy and he said it's you isn't it and i went yes because it is even, even regardless of the context it is me i am me and like, um like on a wednesday it's always me. sorry so like on a wednesday it's always me Yes, on a Wednesday it's always you, but the rest of the time it's me. Okay. Um, yeah. So yeah, so it was nice to meet him too. I'm, I'm, and if your name isn't Andy, I'm sorry. I don't, because now I've got Andy in my head, I can't get anyone else out. Fandra says she wonders if the colour will wear off the cutlery. Um, I don't. I'll let you know. Watch this space. 
Watch this spoon. It's not worn off yet. That one. If it if it started to bend, then I'd be like, oh my God, <laughs> you a moment. Yeah. <laughs> and Badwell says I betray my Leicestershire roots. They're cobs. I left when I was four. They're rolls to me. Okay, Josh. Yeah, um, I didn't see you for the bubble wrap, but um, just let me know in the week. Sometimes it's going to be a weird old week, mate. So so let me know. So people are still arguing about cobs and rolls. Steve says I didn't get names. I'm awful. You have to introduce yourself properly because because otherwise you can't. No, he just he just wanders around going, "Hi, I'm Steve. I'm Steve. You know he me just from does the, the royal wave." As he goes past you. Yeah. <laughs> I picked up a Calf Kidston travel cup, cup, mug, cup, travel, it's one of them, pound, pound for that. Which you can take into Costa and you can order a flat white and you can get it for 31 pence or something like that, isn't it? I don't want one. No. But you can, yeah. But I don't want one. Karen's not in, is she? Karen, are you lurking? If you're lurking, come forth. Come forth and Karenify. Karenify? I got a uh, Laura Ashley scarf for 30p. It's very oh. pretty. That's quite cute. Yeah, 30p. Should have been 25p, but the books were all 10p and I got seven. And then that was 25p. And plainly, I wasn't going to stand around, stand around while she fished for 5p change. So, But also, who charges something 5p at a car boot? That's very... She had a charity stall, and I got the feeling that she wasn't usually doing car boots because she seemed a bit flustered and lovely lady, but she seemed a bit, oh goodness, you know. <laughs> Cal said she has the cutlery, they're fine, and she bungs in the dishwasher. Excellent, thank you, Cal. Steve says, I just stood there with my arms wide open. My people, my children. <laughs> I wonder if he gave a speech. <laughs> Look, Ashley, look, I sold some jars like that. Keyword, lol, listen to me, keyword, was wedding. I used them as sweetie table de jar decorations for my wedding. I don't know what people use them for, but I do know they sell. So I suppose when I was a kid, one of the things that in the 70s they encouraged children to do at Christmas was decorate a jar and fill it with sweets and give it as a gift. I think that was probably a Blue Peter moment thing. Oh, yeah, totally. So you would get a paper doily. And cut out so make a lacy effect and then put a fucking ribbon yeah and all sorts of shite like that and then fill it with sweets and give it to your friends or you give it to your nan who kept it for years and yeah, years. years after all the paper doily had come off and the ribbon was gone and it basically was just a patch of just a jar yeah. with a patch of glue on here and there and she's like yeah i'll probably made that for me <laughs> right i presume oh, karen is lurking she's there okay karen i got some books for your mum that was why i said if you're if you're there pop up um, I hope I've got the right kind. I've got seven of them in total. So um, Karen asked me to look out for books for her mum because her mum's running out of reading material. And so uh, when I saw these, I grabbed them. I hope they're the right kind. So so yay for yay for Karen's mum. And bargain as well. Yeah, that's like, when they were 10p each, I was like, well, I'll just get mm. what have you got, you know? Mm. So yeah, that was, that was good. And, like I said, if, and, then if, and then if they're not the right ones, at 10p each is not the end of the world, is it? You can just like redonate them or something. Or is it? Epson cartridge for a quid. That'll just sort of eight to ten usually. So this was quite nice. 50p. <gasps> 50p Prince movie collection. So it's got Graffiti Bridge, Under the Cherry Moon, and Purple Rain. And it's sealed. Ooh. So that was that's, quite nice for 50p. Yeah, that's brilliant. I'm not, I'm not a very excited about Prince personally. He's not my he's not my um my bag. I mean, I'll sing along, but you know what I mean. I, I wouldn't. It wouldn't. It wouldn't excite me enough to unseal it and watch it. You know. Yeah. No, that's cool though. Oh, Fandria says if it was Blue Peter, it was filled with bath salts for your grand bath salts. Can you still get them? Yeah, in Poundland. I wonder if they still smell the same sort of toilet cleanery. Mm, probably. Yeah. I'm sure I've got some upstairs. In fact, I'm sure my sister did that for us a couple of Christmases ago. Well, there you go. She's very retro or, or cottage core or something like that. She is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, I actually say she hopes Karen feels better. You've been rough for a couple of weeks now, Karen. Are they doing anything about it? Have you been to the doctor? Have you called the doctor? She's got doctor on speed dial. <laughs> 
Oh, Josh says the Prince DVD thing goes for 12. So that one bad for 50p. Look at these. Look at these. What the? Oh, my God. <laughs> hilarious. I got three. He was selling for a quid each. Um, there were a couple of um, couple of guys there. I, I I I believe that I believe I believe they were a gay couple. I mean, they, they were they were both guys. I believe they were a couple, is what I'm trying to say. Um, certainly one of them. Um, I know from working in the he used to work in the Toby Carvery. He doesn't work there anymore, as far as I'm aware. At least I don't know if he does. He's not on the shift that we go. But um. I don't know why I specifically mentioned the fact they were gay, apart from the fact that they were talking to me about how they'd always dressed their dog right from when it was a puppy. So I suppose that's the significance there. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so I've got three of these. <laughs> they're the cutest thing. Now, I think they're probably Buddy's size. I think he'd probably hate me forever, but I think I'm going to put one on him in a bit and put it in the waffle. So that'll be something to watch the waffle for on Tuesday. So, um, so Buddy won't be speaking to me after that happens because Buddy's not impressed with clothes. Which which colour are you going to put on him? Which one do you think? Probably the green because it goes with the collar. Yeah, yeah, I think green. He's, He's got a new green collar which very much suits him. So yeah, yeah, probably the green. Luckily, he definitely has no idea what I'm planning. Poor a pig. pound, a pound. I don't know where that accent's from. I paid pound. a pound. A pound. Where's that accent? I paid a pound. Oh, I don't know. I don't know anymore. Pound. Ashley says I need those dog jackets. Do you actually have, actually have you got a dog of the right size, or are you just gonna have a child and put a child in? <laughs> the dog in there? You know, just <laughs> <she's laughs> well fit. <laughs> I thought Figaro was a cat, but maybe I've just lost my marbles completely. Yeah, Figaro is the cat in. No, Ashley's got a Figaro, and I thought it was a cat. Oh. But maybe it was a dog. I don't know. Maybe she's got one of each. Maybe. Maybe she's got an absolute menagerie and we'd, we wouldn't know, would we? No. Um, Karen says she's got, sorry, I've got a stray hair tickling my face. There it is. Gotcha. Oh, you're stuck on my glasses. Whatever's going on here? Not coping well with life. Karen says she's got tablets. They just knock her out. They're not making her ear better. I'm sorry, Karen. Oh, but, they're, but if, they, if they're knocking you out, can I have some? I would... I'd love to get knocked out. Dawn's in and says, good evening, my lovely. So what is evening wherever Dawn is? Australia. That's a German accent for you. Is it? I don't is know. I can't, can't, do, can't do Australian. <laughs> Are you sure it was any kind of accent? All right. Good day, my lover. Put another shrimp on the bar of me. <laughs> That's more Bristol and Somerset than, than, than Australia. All right. Put another shrimp on the barbie. All right, then. And while you're at it, if you could moat top field and get harvested, that'd be grand. <laughs> it gets me boomerang. No, it's just something weird. <laughs> so I don't think I can do it now you've done it either. Good eye, Cobber. Put another shrimp on the barbie. On the, ba on the barbie. Put another shrimp on the barbie. <laughs> We're so good at this. We're so good. Yeah, at this. accents. Accents yeah. are my strong point. Is so it's a well-known thing. Fuck it up. Yeah, Ashley says she's got two pug Shih Tzu crosses, both dogs. Okay, well let, let me let give me a shout, Ashley, and we'll we'll talk. And Dawn says we both sound like pirates. Arr! 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 That's more like it. Shiver my timbers. <laughs> <laughs> it was only new look, but it was only apparent. It's been beautifully ironed. Her fair play to this lady's ironing skills. She's out ironed me. It's just a pinafore dress. I had that pinafore dress from New Look. What happened to it? Um, I grew out of it. Grew into it. Grew, grew down out of it. What size would you want now? Grew under it. Um, fourteen from New Look. Damn it! It's a sixteen, so you can't have it. Yeah. Yeah, new looker is slightly big on me for some reason. Yeah. Uh, Ash, uh, Steph says you're murdering the Antipodean accent. <laughs> We're oh, famous right. for our accent, our accent um, skills. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, Jackie Egerton's in. I don't know if I've said good morning to you or not. Hi, Jackie, just in case I didn't. I've got two lacrossets. Wow. They're really fucking heavy. How do people cook with these? 
In volcanic I'm... orange, is that right? Yeah. If you have a full set of lacrossets, which I would insist on calling them, they're, they're a little bit stained on the inside, but nothing too bad. I mean, and you grow old and you get weak arthritic wrists. You just have to trade them in for something else or what? Um, I don't know, but we, who was it that said the other day that the handles for them go for good money? I did. That was me. That's the old style wooden handles. If you have got some absolutely shagged pans, don't chuck the handles away. These are these are the newer handles. Mm. Yeah, two lacrossets in a what size are they? They're a 16 and a 20, I think. Yeah, 16 and a 20. That was from Steve, the filler bag guy. Obviously, they weren't in filler bag because he's not insane. Um, hi, Rebecca. And I said to him, how much are you asking on him? And he said, oh, I was thinking 20. And I said, oh, fair enough. That's a fair price, but it's, it's past me this morning. And he said, how much would you do? And I said, Steve, I can't possibly do more than 10. And he said, that's fine. So I got them. Oh, there we are. Uh, so yeah, fair play to Steve, but they, they don't have weigh a ton. That's going to take a lot of packaging as well. Yeah, yeah. Carmen says there's a woman on that show. There was this. I think she said she was watching Love at First Sight or First Date. So I don't I can't remember what. Um, that was born in Scotland but has lived in Australia since a kid. It's a very it's a very strange hybrid accent. Yeah, I should. <laughs> I you pick up some of your accent from your parents, regardless of where you live, don't you? You pick up, yeah. And also, you know, um, like international kids, you know, people that they're like, their parents are, you know, business people travel all around the world and stuff. Mm -hmm. Kind of like my, I was going to say kind of like my brother, but my parents aren't like that at all. But he's got a very international accent. No idea. Yeah. Like part, you know, um, London, part Welsh, and then part like Japanese and A little stuff. bit of everything, yeah. Yeah. Deb says she's dreading what I'm going to grab next in case it's uh, musical. Funny you should say that. No, actually, no musical tins this week. No musical tins. Tins, but not musical ones. Thank God. And there we go. Fandra saying I had to get rid of my La Crusoe pans as they killed my menopausal wrist. Cara saying the same thing. We inherited a full set. She can't use them far too heavy. Cara, and if you've got a full set, that's a lot of money. If you can't use them, get a move in, love. Yeah. Um, and there you go. Uh, Troll Wolf, Susan, says George has sold those pans in filthier condition for good money. Yeah, I don't normally pick up Le Creuset um, because it's normally slightly more than I want to pay, but I was quite happy with those two for a tenner. Uh, Josh says, I bet his wife was happy. <laughs> Steve's wife gets a bit cross when he sells stuff cheap. When, well, when he sells anything. <laughs> you know when I did fill a bag the other week and I yeah. was like, well, like, and I went to give him the money, and then he looked at his wife, and he was like, three quid? It's like, are you checking with the, like, this is your stand. He's you know? probably, he was probably making sure that she knew you'd paid, because she accuses people of not paying. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's awkward. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Josh, for example. Oh. <laughs> but I can kind of, for something. bear with, bear with. <laughs> so why were you buying it then Josh worked with the Dutch Royal Merchant Navy so was away from home mostly and never got a Dutch accent yeah it's weird isn't it they, it's just like a like a proper conglomerative accent my brother's accent is very strange he says he hasn't got one but it is definitely like you know how Japanese don't tend to move their mouth quite a lot? And my brother has adopted that. So when uh, when he's speaking English, he's not moving his mouth as much as we do because, like, the English language is very movie-mouthy. Mm. So he talks, and sometimes it's like he's mumbling because he's just talking like that all the time. And it's like, what? Speak up. <laughs> I realised the other day, you know, obviously some people talk with their hands more than others. Mm -hmm. If you fast-forward to here and Bex for any reason... Basically, you get like 20 minutes of them going. <laughs> Just constantly. <laughs> both of them are both proper hand talkers. <laughs> they look like they're doing Agadu or something if you put them on fast forward. <laughs> Maybe play some music behind them then and see how well they do. 
I can't remember why I was fast forwarding. Maybe I was rewinding. I'm not sure. I was doing something anyway. I don't know what. I can't remember what it was, whether I'd missed a bit or whether I was going back a bit. But uh, there you go. Fandra says tip for anyone buying Le Creuset to keep for themselves if the insides are not glass smooth, don't get them as everything will stick. Nice mm -hmm. tip. Nice tip. Um, Captain Op Shop Nerds in. Hi, Captain. Uh, French fancy says I've got an East End accent even when I'm speaking French. <laughs> and also, Les Mis, right? The the film version. So they're all French. How come <laughs> Little Orphan Kid is still a Cockney? Yeah. If they're all French as well, the, the film <laughs> version with. Um... Oh, Christ. Brain! Brain, produce a name. No. no. Ali G. Help me. Ali G. Sasha Baron Cohen. Thank you, Sasha Baron Cohen. My brain was just like, no. No, I'm just going to make you sweat. <laughs> Sasha Baron Cohen as um, Tenardier. Yeah. <sighs> Cockneyest thing in the world. Yeah. Yeah. It's supposed to be French. <laughs> yeah, the little kid's like, all right, mate. <laughs> hey, you're fucking French, mate. <laughs> Vive la fucking France, isn't it? Vive la fucking France! Yeah. Fuck it. I don't remember. Oh, well. fuck the revolution. Yeah. Good God. <laughs> no, not not Hugh Jackman. Although, thanks for that's another name that I'd also also couldn't grasp. No, it was um, it was Sasha Baron Cohen. I was trying to get. So I paid twenty pence each for these items. Twenty. <laughs> 20 pence for a full bottle of number seven beautiful skin hot cloth cleanser. That'll go for about seven quid. Nothing very exciting. They're, they're actually they're reasonably expensive for boot stuff, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Um, a roll-on deodorant, which I thought was new and isn't, so won't be using yeah. that after all. No. But 20 bits, it was 20p, and I was like, oh, roll-on deodorant, I thought it was new. That won't be, I'm not, I can't roll somebody else's armpits onto my armpits. Mm -mm. I'm not normally, although I suppose I could take the rollerball out and wash it. No, no, no. No, no, I can't. No, you're right. For 20p, you can go in the bin. Sorry, sorry, universe. Sorry, world. Lisa <laughs> Louise says, Lex, your hair is lovely. Thank you. <laughs> Look how um, I can look I'm getting better. That needs to go in the wash. Is that a jock strap? Yes. That's it's isn't it? for Josh. It's, okay. for, it's for strapping him in and watching him fly. It's a dog harness, but it really stinks. I didn't notice how bad it smelled when I picked it up at the car boot. Oh, dear. Is it that 20? One smelly dog, that is. One smelly, smelly dog. <laughs> and also, these were 20p, and these are just a pair of crosshatch trainers. They need a bit of a clean up, but for 20p, I chucked them in, you know, when I was trying to make up my quid. So. Okay. Yeah. Nothing nothing exciting there at all, but they were 20p. And I was trying to make up a quid. It was that that I wanted, really. And I also picked up a trolley coin key ring because my trolley coin key rings just seem to disappear. It's got bridge end on it. No, it hasn't. Swansea Bridge End Carmarthen. Okay. What facet group? I don't know what that is. It's for it's a Citroen dealer. Oh, okay. Citroen, Bassett's Motor Group, Citroen dealer keyring. So I expect they gave them away with the when you bought a car or something, you got them all on your car keys. Oh, like spend 20 grand, get a free keyring. Absolutely. <laughs> Winning at life. Right. <laughs> and then I did fill a bag, but my fill a bag is also not that thrilling. I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't, I'm not licking the jock strap. It's not a jock strap, see, it's a dog harness and I'm not licking it. Good morning, Ian. I didn't put my nose on it, honestly. I didn't put my, it. It might, might have looked like I did, but I didn't put my nose actually on it. I promise. Uh, Captain Lop Shop Nurse says, "Do you get in crap for selling toiletries online at the moment?" Not as far as I'm aware. If they're new, you, I, you, I wouldn't sell anything used anyway. But this is this is brand new and unopened. You can you can only sell new in that category anyway, can't yeah. you? Yeah. Morning, Nia. Nia says, oh, "I missed much." There's never much to miss, Nia. If I'm honest. Never much to miss at all. Um, fill the bag. Couple of tins, non-musicals. 
don't know if, um, if they're any good from Amazon or not, but there wasn't a lot of tinnage going on this morning. So I'm sure Deb will let me know. But look, no music. Thank God. I can sing. Oh, that's all right. It's not Christmas. That's the magic roundabout. That's okay. That's in my head constantly anyway. No. <laughs> also in my filler bag. Ooh, that's nice. Pyrex boot. Yeah, but it's blue. Boot. It is a JAJ Pyrex boot. It's in pretty good nick. A couple of scratches. I mean, it's very much like 60 years old. You'd expect a couple of scratches, wouldn't you, really? I don't know if it should have a boot plate. Probably. Might maybe maybe it's meant to have a boot plate, but even so, it didn't have that. Wasn't there? Sell it at Christmas. There's a high demand. Mum says sell it at Christmas. There's a high demand. Listen to Excellent. it. Well done, Mummy. Yeah. So yeah, that went in me filler bag. Oh, in yeah. yeah, you're still That's uh, oh wait wait that 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 is um for beehives. No. Yes, I'm taking up beekeeping. What's that? Somebody in the chat is going to tell Lex what this is now, aren't they? It's what, Wil Milton. Milton. Wilton? No. Wilton. It is Wilton, yeah. Wilton. I don't know, Mummy. Oh, it's for putting pizzas in the oven. Is it a pizza thing? No, no, no. Mummy. No points for Mummy. Oh. oh, you're rubbish at this game, Mummy. <laughs> wait, somebody in the chat or everybody in the chat is about to shout, it's a thingy, it's a thingy, it's a thingy. Yes, Not it's, a for thingy sawing. it's for soaring ladies in half. Not for soaring ladies in half. It is. I've seen the magicians do it. They put them in the I've seen them as well, but that's not what this is. <laughs> You're very small, lady. Well, you Josh is there. Josh says it's a cake lifter. It is. It's a it's a cake thing. When you decorate cakes and you slide it under and 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 yeah, it's a baking implement. Fandry was coming with a cake thing. Dawn had book stand. Um, Ian had something to do with golf. I think that was the Wilton thing that threw him because I think Wilton do golf stuff. Um, a Chris said out of a magic set where they cut people in two. Laney, Laney says it's to make music when you waft it. It's not very musical. <laughs> it is. And Rebecca was coming in with Wilton do cake things, but Josh did get in there first. It is a baking implement and it is actually for myself. <laughs> Laney says it's to unstick the pizza from the bench. <laughs> is that the park bench, Laney, when you've gone out for your picnic? <laughs> When you just randomly found a pizza in the street and you're like, "Oh, hey, there's a pizza! I love that." Take my pizza. That's me. No, I think it's Steve Green, isn't it? Number one player. <laughs> it's uh, it's another one of me Jamie Oliver ones. Jamie Oliver designs are really not very good. I don't think he does them himself. He's got kids, hasn't he? Yeah, what he thinks. <laughs> it, right, kids, can you write number one player on that mug for me? Maybe. Oh, look, Josh says, light blue Azura Vintage JAJ Pyrex Hawthorne Gravy Boat with Jug with £5 without the base plate. I'll put that on for a tenner, Josh. Sorry, I got lost in the um I got lost in the in the chat. Yeah, Laney says day old park bench pizza is the best and Steve says I'm at street pizza for years or weeks at least. <laughs> you know you're coming up in the world where when street pizza is a distant memory, eh? Um I got a hair thing. The last hair thing I got was absolutely no damn good for my hair, so I've got a different one. Try it now, try it now. Well no, because I haven't cleaned it. I don't know if it's been in somebody else's hair, so I will. Give it a good old scrub before I even approach my hair with it. A luggage strap because I need a new luggage strap because mine's gone missing. How do you lose your luggage strap without losing your luggage? It's a mystery. It is, but yeah, luggage strap went in. A uh, little bag of craft punches. Just mm. because I'm filling the bag, so in they went. 
<laughs> were in my dream last night. I dreamt that I had to punch out loads of butterflies from a sheet of plastic. What does that you mean? Best dreams. I know. And other people's dreams are so interesting, aren't they? Well, they're always a bit odd, and yours are always a bit odd. So I'm just, I'm just punching. So this is how exciting I, these craft punches are. I am punching to demonstrate to you what I have got. I don't even want them. I'm not going to use them myself. Well, I'm plainly, I'm using them myself, so that was a lie. But you know what I mean. Can't work this one. Talk amongst yourselves. Is there one that's penis shaped? They're all penis shaped. Yeah. What are you? Oh, I think you're meant to be a chimney sweep. A chimney sweep? Chimney sweep, I think. Bear with. Oh, some of them punch easier than others. So we have got, this is where I discovered that I've just punched through my tax return or something. We've got one that is broken and won't punch at all because it's got a bit of um, a bit of dolphin stuck in it. And then we've got a heart, a Christmas tree. I think it's a chimney sweep, but it might uh, be a tramp with a bucket with a bundle on a stick and a Mises. It could be, uh, you know, what's his name that went to London with his little sack of stuff? Whittington. Whittington, that's the dude. Could be, yeah. And yeah, the dolphin's jammed, so we may or may not rescue him. But they just, like I said, I just chucked them in because they were filler bag. And then this is Jolly Phonics. Now, Jolly Phonics is, can be worth picking up. Oh, so uh, who wants to know what the tiny writing is on your mug? It's from The Shining. So, my second favourite Stanley Kubrick film. So, 13 topic on. I'm having a moment. I'm what, having what? a I'm having an indie chick moment trying to undo me knots. Yeah, yeah. Fandra says it's a chimney sweep for wedding invitation thingies. Did you oh a chimney sweep so you meant to have a chimney sweep at your wedding because it's good luck. A lot, aren't you? Yeah. Which I can't see, it'd be a very good luck. If he's all covered in coal and stuff and stuff. And you're there in a fourteen thousand pound white frock, yeah. But there we are. So yeah, Jolly Phonics puzzle it is. So probably not worth a damn thing after all of that because I thought it was Jolly Phonics teaching aids and it's not. It really wasn't worth undoing the knot. Ho no. bloody hub. But it went in filler bag anyway. So in fairness, that $12.99. So that pays for the rest of the bag, doesn't it? Brilliant. Because the rest of the bag is shite. So to the charity shop it goes and then the circle of car boot... And then I'm waiting for it to turn back up again, yeah. Yeah. You you should mark some stuff and see if it ever does. Yeah. Um, one of the games I had definitely did. I bought a atmosphere. I think it's called Legend of Khufu or something like that. Um game. The one that's not worth much. Yeah, well, it's it's worth it was worth a bit more than it would have been if it had and got it, it has a special dice in it a special pictorial dice and you cannot play the game without you can't replace it with another dice because there's a pictorial dice that's that's you know specific to that game and that was missing i don't normally return things to charity shops but they had put a sticker on the outside saying checked and complete and then, so that annoyed me that this 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 main important component was missing so i returned it to the charity shop and and got my money back well i've been got an exchange for some other stuff i didn't ask my money back so i'm not that kind of twat anyway Steve, my car boot guy, gets his stock from the charity shops. They give him the clear out stock. And at the next Sunday morning, this board game is there on his store. And I was like, oh, it's funny. I've just returned one of those, takes the lid off, and the dice is missing. So I said to him, did you get this from the St. Peter's Hospice shop in Shirehampton this week? And he said, yes, I did. Why? And I said, because I returned it, because the dice is missing. It would have been hilarious if you'd have <laughs> bought it. <laughs> yeah. And then gone. Somebody else at the car boot did buy it and it turned up on their stall a couple of weeks later. So I kept going around this car boot going, oh, there's that game again to lift and the lid and going, it is, it's the same one. Oh, no. <laughs> That's a great story. I'm, I'm, I, I can hear, sorry, everybody, I've just heard what I've just done. <laughs> that, was, that was not very exciting. Josh says he needs a nice breakfast. I had um, McDonald's. I've had two sausages. Yay. And nothing else. Couldn't be bothered to make anything else. Just had two yeah. sausages. 
So yeah, thanks for turning up to my exciting story time. That was um, Woo. that was a thrill a minute, wasn't it? Um, I've done that. I've got nothing else to say. Well, when this was a gift, so I'm not sure where it, exactly it's from, but I'm pretty sure they're you know they're not exactly rare or anything. And I'm sure you know lots of places would do them. Chris, soot is good for the garden, kill slugs. Does Mama Lex know there's no idea? Probably, but... She'll be up there cleaning the chimney now. We don't have a chimney. Well, we have an empty chimney, you know, as in like... Well, who do you know who's got a full one? You know what I mean? Like, it, it's it's not workable as a chimney because there, there's a fireplace, but there's no fire... You know what I mean? Like, it's a decorative fireplace. So you have With, an unused chimney, is what you mean? Yeah, yeah, one of them. <laughs> right, put that stamp in the bin, doesn't work. Oh, dear. Aaron Patrick, the QuickBooks chap, who used to be called something else, didn't he? He used to be called Apple Core Productions. Yes, he's he's now someone else. He's now changed his identity completely. And so speaking of breakfast, he'd have a nice bacon cob. Not a thing. Not a thing. That's a... Someone, someone said earlier that a cob is a horse. Yes, so you're having yes. a freaking horse. Yes, my hair has dried horribly. I was going to say, you're looking a little bit floofy. Yeah, this is where Kai gets it from. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, you are in a way his grandmother, so. <laughs> Morning, Kathy. Captain Opshot Mirror says, oh, I had awesome bacon and egg sangers. Sangers for Bracky today. Bacon and egg sangers. Why, why are you doing a French accent? Because well, uh, that's not French. That was Australian. Is it? No. No, ce n'est pas français. Ma français, c'est excellent. Fla, 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 fla. Trays bean. Trays beans. Trays beans. Trays yeah. beans. <laughs> Look, uh, Susan says get Josh on so he can show his bits. Josh, you want to show us your bits? I'll send you the link. Hang on, I can never send it. Hang on, bear with, bear with, bear with. Are you all bear? Yeah, I want to see Josh's filler bag if he says it's full yeah, of I'm sending the him the link. I've sent him the link. He should join us shortly. <laughs> Susan says, Aaron, you missed the circle of bread debate from earlier. We need more COB warriors, more cob warriors. It's roll. It's a roll. It's a roll, people. You can call it a cob if you want, but you, we refined folk. We call it a roll. I, I, I call it Eva. Formidable Francais. Très bien. Luckily, I can read what Captain Opshot Nerd ner is writing, despite the fact that his written French is appalling. <laughs> Anne Baker's in morning, Anne. I don't. I, th I hope Sailor Way's not talking about Martina. I know, right? Or me, for that matter. I'm not not entirely sure who Sailor Way's referring to. Could be me. Could be Lainey, judging on the pizza conversation. Could be Martina, his missus. Not sure. <laughs> well, they've got they've got some of my mum's jams. Oh, okay. so they better not be uh, referring to that. Found it. <laughs> That's fair enough, then. Where's Josh? Come on, Josh. Oh, he's probably cranking up his internet. Oh, uh, he's getting the hamster to run a few laps for Disney. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Kelly's going back to bed. See you later, Kel. Sleep well. Bye. Yeah, say hello to my dog, Millie. I'm taking you for a cigarette. Hope you don't mind. Here's oh, Joshy. Hello. Morning. More Are you moving very slowly or is your internet shite today? Hang on. And there goes Joshy. His internet really is bad, isn't it? Mm. I mean, like, mine is bad, but mine too. He went and closed the door and it improved the internet. What's that all about? Pardon? You went, you went and closed the door and the internet got better. Oh. Don't know. Pass. Okay. Maybe you're, maybe you're, buddy, can you stop walking through the bags? Maybe your stairway ghost is interfering with your internet reception. Could be, it's still around. Hmm. Here's hmm. my lovely tray. 
It's a cracking thing, that, Josh. Is it painted or is it burnt out like poker work? Um, some of it's burnt out. Some of it's uh, painted. I said I thought it was. I was right about that when I talked to Lex about how disgusting it was early on. It cost me two pound. I spent two quid on that. And how much it's are you going to spend? You were spending two pound on one item. Where was that from? Uh, twenty-ish quid. Uh, that was from the um, the lady who's by like the fast food van thing on the corner. She's always yeah, there the week lady, after yeah. week. She has, she has random stuff every week, but her prices are usually pretty. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she was at the Wednesday lady. one. Yeah, yeah, little lady. Yeah, another one. The little lady. And then I just got to fill a bag. Hang on. Oh. Well, like, I threw these in because I didn't have a full bag. I don't know if they're worth anything, but they're like guides to like Malaysia, I Thailand, saw them. Slovenia, Thailand, and Paris. Um, mm. No, they're just called Rough Guides, is yeah. the company. Yeah. The rough Guide ones are good. Yeah, they probably are worth getting, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, I thought maybe Mag Magpie would have them, if not, otherwise. So they probably are worth getting because at some point people are going to go travelling again, aren't they? Mm -hmm. When we're all allowed out. Oh, I'd love to I go got... back to Paris. Luminar, well done. Oh, was that in Philip Bag? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Brand new Luminar um, cocktail glass. Vintage, yeah. very old. No, at all. Watch me break them. Um, he wants to know if you walk around the whole of the car boot, Josh. Yes. He does, and he goes, there's nothing here. There's nothing here. I'm just going to steal. <laughs> tell, tell Steve how you actually do it, though. Um, I walk very quickly, and I go no, yes, no, no, no. Mostly tables. no to stores. He glances at tables and keeps walking. He's, you're not a stopper and looker, are you? No, no. Is he kind of like one one swoop left to right? But yeah, done. Next table, left to right, but done. Next table. He's ruthless. Um, I <laughs> I got some little jelly molds, but they're like a little bunny rabbit. Oh, oh, they're quite cute. We had an old. I don't know if they're worth anything, but kid. One of the years would never come out. Speaking of. Molds? How about a rabbit jelly mold or tree mold? That's so that's very similar to the one we had as a kid, but but ours was um, orange plastic, and one of the ears never came out properly. Same. I wonder if they miscast the ear in some way. <laughs> um, this is a British made, apparently one, whatever that means. It's very greasy. It means it was made in Britain. Let's put it down. It's very greasy. <laughs> Um, I got a little dish, bonbon dish, but it's like a really nice cut pressed glass. I got a green leaf bowl. I don't know why, it just looked nice. Oh, because green glass is lovely. Check that with the um, uh, UV thing if you can. Oh, it's not uranium, it's too dark, I think, but I'll double check anyway. Never know. Uh, yeah. Hi, Captain. We'll, we'll double check. But, but what I understand is there was one of these on his table and then the one in filler bag which just shows how they don't really pay attention, but, you know. Mm. Uh, I, 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 I got, got a, the one off the table, Josh, and added it to my bag if it was me. I got a studio pottery vase. Ooh, that's yeah. ugly. But it's signed and it'll sell. Mm -hmm. I don't know who's going to buy it, but someone will. I can tell you who's not going to buy it if that helps narrow the field somewhat. You and Alex. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, there was a Eternal Bow gravy jug. The gravy jug was chipped, but the plate was fine. So I just grabbed yeah, the plate. I, I didn't pick it up because I'm, I'm you know, I gave you, gave you all my Eternal Bow in the end because I was so sick of it. Yeah. It there was a. It's burning. And the jug was chipped, but I just grabbed the plate because that was fine. Um, a really ugly. M&S, um, St. Michael's Bud Vase, because it's for the bag, and why not? It's like it's, they've gone to the effort of making this uh, flower stick out for 
some reason. Wouldn't bother. Uh, what else we got? Some random plates of places, which I need to research. I picked up that bottle one as well. Is... It's funny, I've, I've, I've Josh and I go, I go, I go eh, eh, eh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this one is uh, Dankly something Denmark, Dendanksy. Dansk. Wherever Dendanks. Dansk. 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 Okay, and then this Dansk. one is a church. Denmark. <laughs> oh, I don't know. The, uh, it's a church. York. I don't know. It says York something. Minister. York Minster, yeah, it's York Minster. That's why it says yeah. York Minster on it. Ah, okay. What would I do without you two, eh? I don't know, but remind, remind us to teach you to read one day, if that'll help. <laughs> I got another Cadbury's mug for my collection. That so says I got hundreds. Min, mini, can you say mi, mini, ma, ma, min, mi, 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 mini egg? <laughs> I got hundreds of them now. I need to stop buying them, really. Kathy says, do you wipe all your purchases down with disinfectant or antibacterial? Are you asking us no. in general, Kathy, or Josh in specific? Because Delft shoe. Delft? Delft. Okay, we can read Delft, just not Dansk. And then, lastly, almost, I got um, a Tams tea set. Uh, Are you trying to look under the desk as well, Lex? <laughs> oh, that's that's um, that's a coffee set, not a tea set, but we'll take your word for it. Okay, it's um, Tams, and it's yeah. uh, there's a saucer and like a cake plate. So mm -hmm. I've got I've got two of them, which I'll sell as a pair, just to see what happens. Or or a trio, a trio, because And then I got this because I thought it was quite nice. Well, it's pretty. Yeah. It's got any markings um, on it? Stanley, fine bone china. I just job lot these now. Like a bundle of 10 would go for about 10 quid or so. If yeah. it's filler bag, I might as well. And, and then I got this just pack. to research. It's only Regency, but I just yeah, want to have a look. Fine. Yeah. Um, Holly Mailer in the post -book. And the answer, Kathy, I don't wipe my stuff down with disinfectant. In fact, I mean, for example, that that won't go in my hair until I've cleaned it, but that's because it's been in somebody else's hair. But no, I don't. I don't wipe all my purchases down. I just don't. I don't know whether other people do. Uh, well, I know, I know other people do, but I don't know whether these two particular other people do. And then these, which I'm going to say as props for, um, like cosplayers, they're like little potion bottles. Fair enough. The pop carry things. They're a pound for the um. The house clearance guy who was outside today, the dinosaur guy. Yeah, yeah. So that, that was cheap house. enough. Because <laughs> he has tiny house. Because he's got dinosaur paint on the side of his van. He does <laughs> like, yeah, he does like a dinosaur yeah. event or something. But yeah, a, a pound and cosplayers buy them for their costumes and stuff. Fair enough. And that was it. So that was uh, three, four, six pounds. Well done. I'm astonished that you spent six quid. I feel like you've well, been last alien week was body 20, remember? <laughs> yeah, last week was very odd. 20, 20 quid I spent last week. That was a very lot of money. Yeah, last week. Last week I ran out of money. Well, we did, Ferris, we did do two car boot sales last week. Yeah. I couldn't possibly do another one today. Oh, no. Um, my mum was going over to Wales. There's one in Wales they've seen up by the forest. I don't know where that is, but they said we should go to that one time. There's a forest in Wales? Well, it um, might be the Gloucester one, because the Gloucester one's moved over to the Forest of Dean, hasn't it? Oh, well, it could be that, time. then. Yeah. That might, might be one of that one. Yeah, that's not Wales. No, but it's it moved Wales? into Wales. It has actually moved into Wales because the Gloucester, because they lost their sight. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's quite bizarre, then. And um, they're not going because the bridge is closed, apparently. Yeah, I wonder why the bridge is closed. It's not particularly windy. Or oh, the road to the bridge or something is closed. Kathy yeah. hmm. says she'd like those bottles. You're more than welcome to have them. There she is. Look, wanting those bottles. There she is. 
<laughs> the forest in Wales. The forest, forest. of Dean means yeah. the forest. The forest. Yeah. <laughs> the forest. I, I can never remember which forest. It's either the forest of Dean or the that new one. forest. Sure would. That one. <laughs> or or uh, we, we have a forest called uh, Puzzlewood. Oh, Puzzlewood's grand. I went yeah. to Puzzlewood as a kid. Yeah, that's cool. They film a lot of stuff there. Mm. They filmed some Star Wars there. Here we go. You mean they didn't film Star Wars on another planet? Well, they they that's where Unit Base is, and then they have to travel to Puzzlewood. It was it was you know a location thing. Yeah, yeah. So most of it is filmed on another planet. Yeah, so they have to come from the other planet. So you have to meet there at Unit Base, and then you go on. So you get given the directions on your call sheet. You know, yeah. True story. Yeah, I believe you. Mm -hmm. Well so are you happy with your purchases, Josh? Yes. Which are you most excited about? Luminar. My bags. You're most Just excited about your bags. Oh, go on, yeah. give, you, give your bags a quick plug while you're here. Tell 140 people that are watching about your okay, bags. Okay, quick. Um, if you sell jewellery, because everyone does now, apparently, I've got I bags don't. for you really, really cheaply. I don't want them, so you can have them. I've got... Um, Point two five three inch bags. You've broken uh, up halfway got, through that, so nobody knows what you said. Uh, oh, am I back? You're back, but you broke up when you were saying your measurements. Okay. Uh two point two five by three inches. You heard that one, yeah? Yeah, two and a quarter inches by three inches, yeah. Three point five by four point five inches. Three and a half it. by four and a half inches, I think he said. And then five by five by five point five. Five by five by five point five. Yes. So nearly five inches square then. Yes. Okay. And they're stupidly cheap because I've got ten thousand, ten thousand. <laughs> okay. How stupidly cheap are they? Um basically cost price plus postage plus a little bit extra it's like a box of a thousand is like under a town or something okay yeah, no idea what to say. hello he broke up but i'm pretty sure he said oh, am i breaking up and jewelry bags it'll cost you less than a tenner pretty sure that's what he said no. And you yeah. should contact him on Instagram if you want to if you want yes. to know any more. <laughs> and My internet's Jason breaking up. On there as well. <laughs> this is like pulling teeth this morning. <laughs> well, I've I've ordered um was it three hundred off each? Yes. So and I and I need to I charge you for them. them. Yeah, because you haven't invoiced <laughs> them yet. So yeah. I'm like a goldfish. It, it just oh, 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 oh. Yeah, it's, it's, Susan's just pointed out that if they're five by five by five, that's a box. Hmm. Nope, five, 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 five point five. Five point five by five point five. Okay. And Sailorway's just said something really, really complicated. Uh, turn off my two point four gigahertz. Um. That's phone connection. I'm on my computer, so that doesn't apply. And I'm using 5G internet, so again, that doesn't apply. Martina, you can if you contact him on Inst on Insta Instaweb on Instaweb Instaweb. What the fuck is that? <laughs> contact Josh on Instagram is probably the easiest way. He is JD Network reselling on there as well. Morning, Debs. Steve says, "Are they good for the earth and stuff?" I suppose you'd get a little bit of earth in there, Steve, but not a great deal. They're only small bags. They're great for crack. <laughs> great for your drugs. Yeah. And funnily enough, there's Chris Tyler going, don't druggies use those bags? Yes, yes, they do. In fact, whenever I buy them from the works, because I buy like packs of 50 for a pound from it, obviously not anymore now that Josh is like supplying me. Um, <laughs> they, I, I'll buy like, you know, I'll grab a handful, say like five or six packs, and I do that like every week or so, and they definitely look at me like, 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we know what you're doing. What you're doing. Yeah. Patricia, if you contact Josh on Instagram, if you if you can't find him on Instagram, he's also on Facebook. Yeah, um, whatever's easier. Or my e I'll just have my email in. Yeah, he's he's JD Network reselling on um on Instagram as well. And he's Joshua Denning on Facebook. And he's he's probably Joshua James Denning to his mother, or Joshua Oscar Denning, or Joshua Oliver, or whatever he is. And his Nathan. His Nathan. email address is littlegayjosh at gmail.com. No, it's <laughs> Harry Fairy Josh now. Yeah, we Maybe. renamed him. Do you remember when he got his new car? We renamed him Harry oh, Fairy yeah. Josh. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, when when you're in trouble, do you get Joshua Nathan? Uh, no, I just get Joshua. <laughs> how's your how's your uh, I was going to say your womb inspection. I've definitely been watching womb. too much of the tale, haven't I? Um, how is your womb, womb inspections? I don't want to play. <laughs> oh dear God, Josh! <laughs> oh dear God! Yeah, it's it's got worse. Josh, genuinely, would you like oh, me to come around and help I you can. create some organisation? I've got organisation. It's just space. Yeah, everything's on the floor. That's not organisation. <laughs> that's just it here somewhere on the floor. This is my... Oh, that's my organisation there. I've just run... That Carla? Space. Carla? Ready. Carla, are we thinking intervention here? I'm thinking we should perhaps go around and maybe help him to 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 not get kicked out of his mum's house. Might be it might be good. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I think we're going to come around and help Josh. Help. Okay. Help. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> Karen says, "Blame me, I just had a heart attack." And Ashley says, "You need Karen quick." Karen, Karen is is ready. She's getting her superhero, like you know. Karen, it's honestly not that bad, okay? But you've just fucking shown us, so we know it is. That <laughs> there's one, two, three, four, five, six boxes of listed stock, which I need to just push into a corner. There's a big mountain of cloves just sat over there in the end. <laughs> And then my bed. Somewhere. It's all listed, though. All of my non-clothing is listed now. I did that yesterday. I did 30 listings yesterday. And it's just on the floor? Yeah, it's just dumped in random boxes on the floor. <laughs> see, I'm not... As you can see, I'm not particularly tidy. <laughs> But, and I must be an absolute nightmare. <laughs> but yeah, that that's that's um that's extreme, mate. Is what what you've got going on there is extreme. It's, it's not that bad. Look, mm -hmm. there's Gosh, my that's... bed over there. Ooh, underneath all of the stuff. Oh, this is listed here. Did you here. To the door to get out of your room this morning? No, I have to step over a line of listed stock. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's worse than we think. If he thinks it isn't that bad, he needs a lot of help now. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Where was the freaking bed? And the bed's the in the corner. It's a nice double bed. I, I do have to do a lunge to get to the bed. I do have to do a lunge because I can actually walk to the up to the bed. I have to sort of jump over a load of stock. That's not good for you or the bed or the stock. I almost broke my neck this morning trying to get out of bed, but that's fine. Okay, in intervention incoming. Lex, Lex, let me know when you're free. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Auntie Sue, we started at 10. You are a little bit late, lovey. Well, but we, luckily, we, haven't said anything. luckily, we haven't said anything worth missing. Hmm. <laughs> One of those magic eye pictures where if you look at it long enough, you'll spot the bed. Yeah, my bed's covered yeah. by bookcases and stuff. It's in the corner. I do sue, and it's all in boxes on the floor. 
being leapt over on a daily basis. <laughs> Karma says I gap shamed Carla until she added shelves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Con Marie. laughs> and Linda says my room looks like that, but that's because my son moved back in because of the pandemic. And Steve says, for fuck's sake, don't fall out of bed. Kath's on your side. Kath is defending you. Kath says, I, I do you know where everything is. Problem. All this is categorized into so the, um, that's number 11, that's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's just 18 because it's all rubbish. Like it's all numberized. I know where everything is. Numberized. That's a good. That's a. That's a thing. The is only that a issue word? is that because he's moved back into his mum's house and he has a room inspection, it's unlikely that he will pass his room inspection with the current organisational layout. Like up here, I've still got all that poor pottery <laughs> unlisted. This is clothes I listed yesterday. Morning, I feel like we could. Um, I feel like we could <laughs> criticize yeah, me. Like we could, no, no. I feel like we could help you. I feel like we could. Oh, okay. I feel like we could increase your your quality of life somewhat. Joey I started out the a good YouTube stuff, video. The good stuff is you never have to Hoover. Yeah, I started a YouTube <laughs> video and I actually cleared it all in the for the YouTube video, and then this happened, and now I can't upload the YouTube video because it's now a mess again. Because now it's a lie. Because now that whole video is a lie. Yeah. <laughs> It was all nice and cleaned and cleared and all the stock was put away and now a bomb's hit it. We go. Ashley says, my whole house was like that a few years ago, but thanks to this lovely community and Con Marie, I'm no longer a hoarder of sold or donated over half my hoard down to only one room. I know what he does. He lifts the bed up, shoves <laughs> it all underneath, and then... Bed is like that on top. Then when he gets into bed at night, he's like, ceiling's a bit close. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do use my bed as a storage area. So I will put boxes on the bed and fill the bed up with boxes to clear all the floor space for the room inspection. You know, you, you realise that mothers have the kind of eyes that can see what's on the bed as well as what's not on the floor anymore, yeah? You putting it on the bed does not call her. Mind, it as long as it's it doesn't floor. exist. <laughs> Unless you're shaking the duvet over the top of it as well and going, no, no, that, that's just my bed. <laughs> it's just very lumpy. <laughs> very lumpy. Karen's gone for a lie down now. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Karen. <laughs> Kathy, yeah, there, was, there were seagulls outside my window, despite the fact I'm nowhere near the sea. The seagulls must be, like, mislaid. I think they've given up being at the seaside because there's no chips at the moment. I, um... We've got loads of seagulls outside constantly because we have our two regular seagulls, um, uh, Steve Seagull, Seagull and, and Blue Seagull. Um, but they brought a load of mates today and I was feeding them cream crackers earlier. So I threw up a load of cream crackers onto the garage and then they had like one in their beak and then they were just wandering around going, now what do I do with it? Like, it's a bit dry. <laughs> <laughs> Please. I wonder if you've got seagulls to do the cream cracker challenge. Well, I think that's what they were doing between them. And then they were <laughs> laughing their heads off for ages. And they looked a bit like the birds. And it was oh, a bit scary. Bag, you don't have to keep walking through it. Would that be helpful? <sighs> so, yeah, that was... Your orders are coming from next door to Josh and Hugh's pants. I'm not entirely sure. Because <laughs> it's my bedroom as well. So obviously my dirty clothes but no they go in a in a basket out the way so don't worry about oh, that I see. From, from next door to josh's used pants i see what you mean i thought you meant your next door neighbor was ordering used pants off you and i was completely thrown i mean i have thought about selling my used underwear and stuff there's something else i want to buy and you can put those with the tray. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame you can't do that on ebay anymore they've clamped down on that a lot now oh uh, you're not allowed to oh well no you so can't even particularly you can't strong even... inventory choice for you, was it next? Well, yeah. I mean on, on one of my other accounts, yeah, but you just they, they get they get taken <laughs> they get taken off now. <laughs> yeah, taken down. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. I was gonna start that business up. Yeah. Hmm. Never mind. 
I still need to be booked into um I need to be booked into Carla's waxing studio, don't I still or something? Yeah, we're gonna give you a full body wax, weren't we? Yeah. And and drag you up as well. Apparently there's a wig. There is a wig. A wig a wig was a wig was delivered. <laughs> A wig was delivered. Right, when you come in down, doing? Lex, next. Oh, soon, yeah. Oh, soon. soon. There we go. We can do it then. Yeah, yeah, I can do it soon. In fact, what's the date today? Yeah, thing, thing, fnerf, fnerf of Durfil. Fnerf, fnerf, fnerf. Ninth. ninth. It's the ninth. I said it was the ninth. Yeah, all right. I could, right? You know that that ticket at return. It expires on the 16th, and they still haven't checked it. Yeah. But the 16th is next Sunday. Yeah. Anyway, just a thought. <laughs> I am away Thursday to Saturday. Ah, that wouldn't work then. So that's not ideal. But can you come out on it, or is it only an in? It's only a back home. Yeah. What's Josh's drag name? Josh is, is Philomena Bag. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, Deb says, How old is Josh? 12. Josh is just turned 21. I'm 12. With a room like this, it's 12. <laughs> 67, no. And Joan's on your side. Look, she's like, Waxing wig and now an intervention. Seems to be harsher all at once. <laughs> they bully me. They I'm are not the biggest anyone. bullies I know on the internet. Idea. I said that I would be willing to come and help you get some organisation. None of this has been my idea. I refuse to be accused of bullying anyone else. I am done with being called a bully. I'm done with it. <laughs> All I said was I would offer to come and help you organise if you wanted me to. <laughs> Auntie Sue says, is anyone else doing hauls today? She seems to have slept through the last one. Yeah, we don't have any more booty. Yeah, uh, no one's mentioned anything. I don't know if Kelly went or. Okay, is Kelly a Sunday or a Saturday boot? I don't know, but she normally shows us on a Monday anyway, didn't she? Yeah. Well, we've got Deb's Nick and Andrea. Look so young. I'm a baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've sold something for ninety nine p free post. Oh how? What was that deliberate? <laughs> what? No, it's um some cards, so it's just a letter. <laughs> We're trying to... Yes. We're trying to train that out of him though. We're untouring him now in the hopes that if hang he on, doesn't hang on. Tory again as he gets older, he'll start again from the beginning. Catching! Yay! You got a live catching? I've heard, I've heard of those. I I don't seem to have a phone. Yeah, live kitting. Where's my other oh, is? Here the we go. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't smash that. Sponsored by Carla Jenkins. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised you never smashed that. Smash it. I love it. Why am I going to smash it? <laughs> oh, I could assign you up to the Conservative Party next year. Good luck with that. I think you'll find my names on some kind of blacklist. Uh, yeah, I think you'll find blurry. flashes up as alarms. Like, no, 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 infiltrator. She doesn't mean to be here. Last year for uh, Josh's birthday present, I very <laughs> kindly donated to the Labour Party in his name, which he very much appreciated, didn't you, Josh? And, and, that, and that paid for Jeremy Corbyn's pension fund. So thank you, Lex. <laughs> <laughs> He's now gone. We've got a ten pound pension, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dorothy says, "We're glad, glad I caught your live chat just back from a long walk. We are. We're not going to be here very much longer, Dorothy. We've been done. We've been here an hour and twenty minutes already. Leave us. For the sight of us. Is that jewelry, Carla? I don't know. I don't know how much I spent this morning because I don't know how much I had with me, which is annoying. Ah. So I didn't spend a lot, and that's why it's easy for me to remember. <laughs> Two. Well, yours is generally pound to get in, three pound with Steve, and then you've only got to remember one or two other things. Yeah, exactly. So that's not too hard. 
12, 15. Last week I went in with 50 quid and I came out with nothing. Oh, no. 27 pounds. That's not bad, is it? Mm. Do you know that um, Omega thing you got for me, Lex, you found? Uh, I don't know what was The lever binder phylax oh, thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I sold it for 20 quid. Woo! See? So I Lex knows it. stuff. <laughs> but it sold <laughs> the same day I listed it, so I don't know if I underpriced it. But no, you're happy with what you've you know. got, that's all that matters. Yeah. You priced it at exactly the right price at exactly the right time. Because it was really Ian damaged. Says, and, I always yeah. watch you, but this is the first time I've sent a message. I love your channel, Carla, and your sense of humor. Thank you, Ian. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, Debs is asking, is Lex younger than you? I presume she means me, but she might mean Josh. Yes, Lex, Lex is 15. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yes, I am the oldest person currently on your screen. I'm 41. And 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 a week and a Eight. bit. We're over 100 years old between us. That's not bad. Oh, don't say it like that. That's quite you depressing. Together. Can we can we average out then and be like 33 and a third each? Yeah, I bring your average down, <laughs> don't I? I'm 47, you're 41, that's 88, plus Josh makes up. We're 109 between us. Oh, Jesus. So divided by three, that's the 40, we're still 41 each. No, hang on. So, no, hang on. No. Why can't I do maths? 36 each, something like that. Yeah. That's better. Yeah, I, can, I can live with that. I act 36. I don't know what I act. I'm I'm about I'm about twenty five when I'm sat down chatting and about hundred and four when I try and stand up. It's yeah. the I've got to talk to the legs before I get in. That's just <laughs> I just have to I have to make sure the legs are on board with the decision so that it doesn't take them as a surprise. If I try and stand up without warning the legs what's gonna happen, then then they're not they're not involved. What if and they if say I'm no? Up, well then you've seen what happens when they say no. <laughs> People have to help me out of a chair. <laughs> Bye, C. <laughs> yeah, you've you've been there when my legs have said no. You've helped me off my sofa when my legs have gone, no, we're not playing. <laughs> Joe says you are seven. Is that me? Or or Josh? Josh is seven. Definitely. Yeah. Twelve. Twelve according to Nick. <laughs> and Nick knows stuff. I found an, a bug on eBay yesterday, right? I've set a sale to go live yesterday. It says it's live, but nothing's on sale. Oh, I heard that the other week. Yeah. I've had that occasionally, I think, as well. I'm not sure why it does it. So I'm yeah. going to have to go and end the sale and try and redo it or something. I always, nowadays, if I do a sale, I always change the start time to start now. Yeah, that's what I did. Start now. And it says it's running, but nothing is on sale. Yeah. Yeah, I had I had a strop with some clothing um maybe about six weeks ago and i was like right i'm getting rid of all the clothes and i'm putting like everything on 50 percent sale i just want it all gone and then the sale didn't start or do anything at all for like three days and then i went oh got it and just ended it yeah and all loads of clothing at full price so <laughs> Jones says I'm seven. <laughs> mental age of seven knee age of 182 yeah. <laughs> Is it breakfast time now? I've had my breakfast. Yes, Toby Carvery time, isn't it? Oh, no, you've missed breakfast at Toby. Oh. Lainey says, I act about 15, look about 75 and feel about 95. Know that feeling. And Deb says, Is Josh from Bristol? It's like, listen to myself. Yeah, he's around the corner. You've, you've met Josh. Deb's has met Josh. Hasn't she? Uh, no. No. No? No? No. 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 Def definitely not, dear. No, dear. Who, dear? What, dear? Gay, dear. Who, dear? Me, dear. No, dear. <laughs> no, dear. <laughs> right. We should say goodbye. Time to... Oh, just as, just as I was... Just, just, just. Just as I said that, Sash came. Now, Sash, you came into my thoughts yesterday, and I was wondering whether it was appropriate to message you and just say that I hoped 
you were doing okay and then i was still wondering and now here you are so so that um yeah so i hope you're doing okay love um I haven't seen you for a while, and obviously you've, you've had a fucking shite time, so I hope you're doing okay. Nice to see you in. Susan says, say bugger in Bristolian. Bugger. Bu bugger. 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 And on that note... And on that buggery note, <laughs> we are just about to go. So now, now it looks like we've, we're going just because Sasha turned up, and that's not true at all. <laughs> we were going anyway. We've been here an hour and 25 minutes of doing whatever this is on a Sunday. Whatever this is. Josh, uh, Lex, are you just like inspecting your toenails? Uh, no, I'm I'm accepting an offer. <laughs> you just look like you're looking really intently at oh, your toes. Oh, offers as well. <laughs> I've got any offers. Doing offers. Snap. How many offers? Hmm. I've got 28. Hmm. Hmm. I haven't got any offers. Someone send Carla some offers on stuff, but but good ones, please. Yeah, not you, Josh. Okay, hang on, hang on. mean, <laughs> Josh, <laughs> not like, oh, can I buy this for a penny and stuff? I'm going to send out some offers. I'm just getting in on the offers. If you notice, if you say the word too many times, it starts saying weird offers, offers, offers. Somebody wrote husband several times yesterday. And by the time I'd read the word husband three or four times, it was the weirdest looking word. And I started thinking, where does the word husband even come from? Husband. Dear future husband, that song? That's not where the word came from, though, is it? Because oh, okay. husbands have been around an awful <laughs> lot longer than um, what's the face. I can't even think would, of it. Would it not be animal husbandry? Well, the word must have come from somewhere. I mean, animal husbandry is 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 farming, isn't it? Farming, farming, isn't it? It's farming, isn't it? I'm googling. Josh is going to find out where the word husband comes from. This is what this is what the Sunday morning show has turned into now. Whatever it's turned into us literally talking shite and wondering where the English language has its basis. Husband. Uh oh. House, house bandit. Yeah, so it the origin is hoos for house and then bandy for occupier and tiller of the soil, which then there changed to master of the house and then changed to husband, which was the male head of the household. So every time you refer to your husband, you're actually saying master of the house. Oh. Some people are going to stop calling their husband that from now on. <laughs> Some people are like, he's not the master. Oh, he's a very naughty oh. boy. Oh. It's just like being in Handmaid's Tale, which I have watched too much of the last couple of days. <laughs> right. I go. I, I go. go. I go. We go. I go, you go, we go, he goes, she goes. We've, we've, we've just conjugated the verb. And wait, wife, wait, wait, wait. wife. Do you want to know about wife? No. Yes. It's just the new version of woman. So the man is a master and the wife is a woman. And master and his woman. <laughs> Sash says phenomenal is a weird word. Phenomenal is a very weird word. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Do 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 do. Phenomenal. Do 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 Right. Time to, say good time to say goodbye. It really is time to say goodbye because I started singing. So that's definitely when it's time to end. Thank you so much to the gorgeous Lex and the stunning Joshua Nathan for joining us this morning. <laughs> I'm going to call you Joshua Nathan every time I'm cross with you now. Um, thank you to everyone in the chat. It's been lovely to see you all, um, old faces and new and people who've never commented before. It's always lovely that you pop in and say hello. And thank you for joining us for whatever this is on a Sunday morning. And we will see you on next the flip week. side. See you on the flip side. Tiny now. Oh, it's an owl. It's an owl. Okay. It's an owl. Awkward way. Bye.